recording? Nice. G'day guys, thanks for tuning in again. Been on plenty of hunts lately, had plenty of luck, but none with the camera, so I won't bore you with these hunts. What I will do is I'll show you a few highlights. One of the hunts, chasing sandbar on public land. Found plenty of sign and eventually was lucky enough to see a sandbar go to bed across a valley. Now, it was bedded and I thought I had a pretty good shot. I took my time, I made a few calls, the sandbar moved. From where I was shooting, I had a clean shot. I shot and as you can see right here, I hit it in a pretty good position. I've gone across, gone, looked at the video footage, looked for landmarks, looked at the video footage, looked at landmarks. Oh, I cannot find anything over there. He's run tracks. I just, I just can't find where he's bedded. I've walked all the way over back to where I shot him from, used the GPS on my phone to find the exact tree. What I'm gonna do is I've got a sandwich bag. I'm gonna hang the sandwich bag here between the two trees, something kind of visible go on over and work my way back looking at the sandwich bag until I get the same view. Hope that I can find his track. I've watched the shot. It's bang. He's he's hit. I'm stoked. But um, I need to find it. I think I found it. Yeah, I got him. Here we go. This is where it was sitting. Come on. Be blood. Be blood. Come on, there's a big hoof, right there. He's taken off. Big run, oh, look at that. Sorry, mate. He's, uh, he's got a bit excited on the shot. He's actually had a big poo. Putting the time in to walk back over, place that bag there, really, identify the zone where I think I hit him and then come back over it's paid off I found it straight away I'll show you watch how easy it is to find this bag now although when I went to find it there was no sign of blood no trail to follow it was absolutely heartbreaking I haven't found any blood yet but I can smell stag so He's probably pissed himself while he's been running. Oh, it's really hard to find a trail in here. The bark's real thick. Just gotta take your time. Oh, I'll be so gutted if I don't find this animal. You never want an animal to be wasted. And in that scenario again, I'm gonna take my time and wait for a much better shot so I know the animal's gonna go down. Tomorrow's a new day. I'm heading off to see my mate Geordie. He's got a new private property. We had some luck on the other day. It's full of sandbar, absolutely full of them. Hopefully the camera will be there to capture one go down. Friday afternoon. I'm going out Saturday night to a party. I know Sunday's going to be hungover. And uh, tomorrow morning, I want to get barreled, so the Savo's my chance. I made Geordie's property. I'm going down to hopefully film a few deer. He'll be here shortly. But he's going to pull the, uh, pull the trigger on one, unless it's a stag. Geordie gave me permission, if it's a stag, I can shoot it. Geordie, love ya. said the wind was swirling and it swirled. Damn it. That's a lot of deer and they're gone. I'll sit here in another 20 minutes of light. Another one might come out. Let's see how we go. Geordie's finally decided to join us.
next one. Alright, and I'll go for the little one. Little one. Little one. Yeah, go for it. Go. 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 Awesome. Awesome. Oh, look at them on the other side. Oh, shit. No. Geordie. Nice, mate. Nice. That's what we're talking about. He's on the spot. He dropped on the spot. Geordie, how are we? Give us a... Fuck yeah, brother. <laughs> awesome, well mate. Well, that was the plan. To come, come here. Down. Come here before sunset. And get one right on dark. And that was a beautiful shot, clean kill. <laughs> and you're getting honked. There's deer everywhere on the other side of that gully. Absolutely thick as thieves. Let's go have a look. Geordie, selective hunting at its best. You had three on option, why'd you choose this one? Good size little snack pack, this one. Good size. Okie dokie. Geordie Samba. Now Geordie and I, Put the time in, we put the effort in, and we go door knocking. I've knocked on about 30 doors, I've got three properties. How many doors have you knocked on, mate? Uh, I'd say at least 20. At and least this 20. was, this was the other weekend, went out on a miserable Sunday for a, a door knocking session, had about six or seven no's. Last stop of the night before it was getting too dark and people started having dinner, and uh, I did an awkward U-turn to try and stop at one last property, and uh, this was it, paid off. Paid off big time. Fucking big time. So we've been here a few times and we actually, we didn't get it all on footage, but check this out. First time we come here with Geordie, he actually nailed a small stag or a small, an awesome stag. A good, yeah, good old boy. Have a go at this. You shot a big stack. <laughs> and this guy's gone. <laughs> Finally blow my nose out. <laughs> so, Jordy, what'd you just say? I thought it was a fucking branch. With his head. <laughs> He's still moving a fair bit. And we actually just watched him. He kind of was laying there and he stood up, walked a bit and gone down. Now behind us is massive forest. We do not want him to go in there. We're going to work our way down the valley. Put a second shot in him, end him. Have a look at this animal coming up. Wait, not yet. Not yet. When you're ready, take your time. Hold up, Lockie, stop moving. Stop moving. Go. Good job, brother. Whew. What's that like? First hunt? Admittedly, it's not as big a stag as I first thought. But it's my first stag I've been a part of on a hunt, so I'm pumped! How awesome is that? So, two hunts here, stag the first time, an awesome eater the next, a few weeks apart, and you saw the deer population. Epic! Well, let's clean this one up, and uh, I think it's time for a beer and a feed. Absolutely, let's do it. Good stuff, mate, good stuff.